Last time when we said uh, this PF is not only fighting UPND, some of you media houses, you reported the other way. We told you to say these guys do not mean well. Today they are on HH. Today they are on Nguela. They are on Chikota. Tomorrow they will be on you. There were young youths with big plans to establish them, uh, themselves, running small businesses <coughs> in town. It's unfortunate that that story has gone uncovered by you, the media. Where Poka Longa, who runs a small business at Old Fred Job, opposite the main post office, uh, his office was invaded by the criminals, not the PF cutters, by the criminals. Because the PF, they have no cutters, they have no members, all they have are criminals who went there, invaded this small business, just merely because this guy was printing regardless for the opposition, which is the UPND. His office was brought down. His business was disturbed. I do not believe that uh, all the printing, uh, printing businesses in Osaka should be printing the PF regalia. They are deliberate to, to print the material that they saw fit because they, for them they are in business. The young boy around 11 hours, three days ago, at this office, brought down by the PF thugs, who are well-known thugs from town centre. He has reported this matter to the police, even pointing at those people went to invade the office. The, poli the police are quiet. If it, was a, if it was a UPND who went there just to greet someone who was going to be arrested, we know the Public Order Act and Rule of Law only applies when they, uh, on the UPND. I want to take this opportunity to tell the Deputy Commission of Lusaka Division, Mr. Masie, Mr. Kanza, the, De uh, the Commanding Officer of Lusaka District, Lusaka District Department, that we have now allowed the, uh, the PF to go to so far, and as you PF, we are not going to sit back. We are going to protect our comrades who are doing businesses in town. We are going to protect every Zambia. We are not going to wait for you. The day that place was invaded, the police officers were there. There's a police officer just nearby from where the attack attackers went to attack. They were watching hopelessly because they cannot do anything. The day before, when the Karimash was being butchered, the police opted to come here where it was very peaceful and left those criminals to put each other. And instead of arresting the culprits who attacked Karimash, instead they attacked the victim. I want now to urge the youths of the UPND that it's no longer time to protect ourselves, but let's go and protect our colleagues who are not even UPN out there, who have been harassed, who have been beaten. Enough is enough. And the people attacked this, they are found on which road? Uh, at town centre there, Chiparamba Road. We are, we are, I don't want to give an ultimatum because we have given enough. If these guys won't be arrested, we are not going to give the time. We are going to move in as UPN youths. It could be today, it could be tomorrow. But the bottom line, we are going to move in and arrest these criminals by ourselves. And what the, the punishment that we are going to melt on them, we are not going to tell you because the police you have become impotent. You can't do anything. We want to advise all the youths in this country, particularly Osaka province, that they are, the doors are open. And we are simply extending our olive branch to all the youths in Lusaka, those who are not in UPND, those who are in PF, those who are in MDC, MMD, and the de facto NDC youths. Please, all of you, we are inviting you to join UPND, to join hands with us UPND youths. And the reason is simple. We have seen youth being victimized because they have insisted that they want to belong to a certain failed political party. But they have been rejected several. They have been beaten. And we feel the solution is there for them. I'm talking about Ilo and the group as an example. They have been rejected. 
by the part they claim that they want to be in this part. But as for UPND, me as a provincial youth chairman, I'm inviting in on the group. Say, guys, they don't mean well. And I also want to express my displeasure how a fellow human being can rejoice that the fellow human being has been beaten because that person belongs to another political party. It can't happen like that. It means there there is no leadership. That organization is very dangerous. So I urge the youths that come to UPND, all of you, we're extending our olive branch to all the youths to come and join hands in UPND with us and liberate this country because we deserve better leadership. Not what is happening. Where human life has lost value, the sacredness of human life has been reduced to zero. I want to say that uh, as UPND youths, we are very sad. Even as a person, as a youth in Zambia, I am very sad that uh, five months ago, the president of this republic, Mr. Ed Galungu, he told the nation in no uncertain terms. Even when some of us in the UPND, we knew that the man was just being rhetoric, we knew that the man did not even know in the first place what he was talking about. But however, he went and he promised to say within six months that he wants to see the Inspector General, he himself has appointed, that he should reorganize the police. The police, the police force. For me, I don't even call it a, a service because it is only a service when they are dealing with the PF thugs and it is a police force when they are dealing with the UPND. He went and he promised this country, the citizens, that within six months, if he's appointed Inspector General of Police is not performing, that he will fire him. Five months down the road, this is a question that I'm asking to you, our, 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 our media personnel seated here. This is the same question that I'm asking to the Zambian people. As Mr. Kanganja reorganized the police force, the answer is obvious. It is a big no. Five months today, Mr. Ed Galung today is on record as having said that uh, arising from what happened at the PF Secretariat, that he has given the Inspector General the last test. Now, I think Mr. Ed Galungu should know that probably he might not even qualify to be among us the 10 intelligent Zambians. And we want to say this in no uncertain terms as youths of UPN, that that test he has given Mr. Kangaji. For us, we want to tell him to say, can you keep Mr. Kanganja? Because you love him so much. And whatever his performance that Mr. Kanganja has exhibited as IG, as, as his appointing authority, you are very comfortable and you are very happy about it. And we just want to, uh, to advise him that instead of Mr. Kangan, Mr. Ed Galung giving uh, Kanganja the last test, the Zambian people, we are giving Mr. Ed Galungu the last test on the 12th of August so that Mr. Kanganja and Mr. Ed Galungu, they can, they can go together. So for now, we don't mind whether, he, whether Mr. Kanganja goes or he, or, 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 or he stays, but one thing for sure is that Mr. Ed Galungu and Kakoma Kanganja, on the 12th of August, they are going. So it is only fair to you, Mr. Ed Galungu, that this time we are not going to, to ask something that you cannot do. And we know that you, what you cannot do, it is to fire Mr. Kangaji. Because whatever the performance that we have seen, the brutality that we have seen against us in the opposition, it has been done with the full knowledge and support of State House. And we are saying this without fear. We are saying this without reservations. Because we know that the PF, after realizing that the Zambian people, they are not in support with them, they have now tried everything possible to use the police to fight their own uh, political battles. And we have said that...
we as, a, as UPND youths, we know that without the police fighting for the PF, Mr. Edgar Lungu knows that the PF it is at its weakest point ever in the history of its existence. So we want to advise Mr. Edgar Lungu to say, what if, if, if he was a serious president, please underline my word, if Mr. Edgar Lungu was a serious president, Mr. Kanganja could not even have lasted two months from the time he was appointed 